Other reactions to this from over the weekend include from Republican Senator Marco Rubio, a member of the Foreign Relations Committee who has endorsed Trump for president. Well, yesterday he scrambled to try to defend Trump's comments. I mean, he was talking about something, a story that he talked about happened in the past. By the way, Donald Trump was president and he didn't pull aside in NATO. But he's telling a story. And frankly, look, Donald Trump is not a member of the Council of Foreign Relations. He doesn't talk like a traditional politician. But what he's basically saying is, if you, if you see the comments, he said NATO was broke or busted until he took over because people weren't paying their dues. And then he told the story about how he used leverage to get people to step up to the plate and, and become more active in NATO. Virtually every American president at some point in some way has complained about other countries in NATO not doing enough. Um, you know, Trump's just the first one to express it in these terms. But I, I have zero concern because he's been president before. I know exactly what he has d done and will do uh, with the NATO alliance. First off, pretty pathetic. Secondly, a wow. fact check. There aren't dues, NATO dues. Countries are encouraged to put in 2% of their GDPs. We have seen European nations pick up their level of contributions in recent years. And at least they've done so not because of Donald Trump's threats, but because President Joe Biden has revitalized NATO as it tries to stand together against Russian aggression. But yet it sure looks like Donald Trump is uh, willing to help out his pal Vladimir Putin again. And a lot of Republicans, like Marco Rubio, just going to go along with it. I have absolutely no problem with pressuring NATO countries to pay their fair share and to pony up so that we're not carrying the bulk of the burden. What I have a problem with is Republicans like Marco Rubio just letting Donald Trump say it's OK for Russia to invade NATO allies. I, that is so ridiculous and is such a contrast from the Marco Rubio of 2016 in the Republican primary, a former hawk, who can you imagine if he said any of that stuff then? And what we have heard from former Trump officials is that he is going to make good on his craziest statements next go round. That's what John Kelly has been warning. That's what John Bolton has been warning. He is telling us what he is going to do and we should be prepared for that. And let's remember, John Hellman, the only time that NATO Article 5, the Mutual Defense Pact, was enacted was to help the United States. Our allies were coming to our help after September 11th. Right.